If you've always thought of Mars as the ultimate example of a dry, hostile world, it's time to listen closely. NASA's Curiosity rover has made an incredible discovery on the Red Planet, a series of intriguing molecules that might actually have a biological origin. But what exactly did Curiosity uncover, and why could these simple hydrocarbons completely change our understanding of extraterrestrial life? Stay with us until the end as we explore whether we may have finally found the first signs of life on Mars. It's a question as old as humanity itself, are we alone in the universe? With countless celestial bodies scattered across space, could Earth really be the only place where life has emerged? To find answers, incredible instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope are now focusing on distant worlds, searching for potential biosignatures in the atmospheres of exoplanets. But who knows, maybe, in the end, we won't need to let our curious eyes wander across countless light years of space after all. What if extraterrestrial life has been lying dormant right under our noses all along? If there's any celestial body in our cosmic neighborhood suspected of hiding a groundbreaking secret, it's Mars. And no, we're not talking about wild theories of an ancient Martian civilization, but rather the incredible findings that NASA's Curiosity rover has been steadily uncovering. Since 2012, Curiosity, a mobile laboratory about the size of a small car and weighing around 900 kilograms, has been exploring the geology and climate of our reddish neighbor. In 2018, it made a major breakthrough, for the first time, it provided solid evidence that Martian rocks contain a variety of organic compounds, molecules essential to the development of life. Analyzing samples from four different spots in the Gale Crater, Curiosity's onboard chemistry lab detected both ring-shaped and chain-shaped hydrocarbons, as well as organic sulfur compounds. However, this spectacular discovery also came with a significant caveat, unfortunately. While we cannot state with absolute certainty that the organic molecules discovered on Mars are of biological origin, it's worth noting that some of the molecules identified by Curiosity are typically produced by living organisms on Earth, and their isotopic signatures could also hint at a biological source. However, we are also aware that such molecules can form through abiotic processes, without any involvement of life. As a result, tangible proof of past life on Mars remains elusive. That said, Curiosity has recently made another remarkable discovery that quickly captured astronomical headlines. During the analysis of clay samples collected from the Cumberland Mudstone in Gale Crater, the rover's onboard chemistry lab conducted a two-step heating process, first at 450 degrees Celsius, then at 850 degrees Celsius, before analyzing the released molecules with a mass spectrometer. Before this analysis, Caroline Freiss from Sorbonne University and her colleagues at NASA had refined the detection method to identify longer-chained organic molecules. This adjustment paid off. Curiosity successfully detected decane, undecane, and dodecane, three long-chain hydrocarbons from the alkane group. The concentration of these alkanes ranged between 27 and 53 parts per billion. To be clear, these are the heaviest and longest organic molecules ever discovered on Mars. In the words of the lead researchers, this discovery expands the diversity of organic molecular classes detected on Mars. This is a major discovery, showing that larger organic molecules can survive in Martian primitive sediments despite the planet's intense radiation and highly oxidizing conditions. Importantly, this finding not only boosts hopes that biological remnants may still be preserved in Mars' clay-rich rocks, but it also holds additional significance. Curiosity's discoveries are especially exciting because they may represent traces of common biomolecules. The alkanes identified could have originated from long-chain fatty acids, like those found in the cell membranes of living organisms. In support of this idea, Freen and her colleagues note that laboratory experiments suggest the detected alkanes were initially preserved within the clay as long-chain carboxylic acids containing 11 to 13 carbon atoms. The alkanes would have formed later through chemical processes. When these fatty acids were detected by curiosity, it naturally raised a big question, what does this actually mean in concrete terms? 
In other words, are these findings biological in origin or not? Of course, the researchers addressed this critical question and reached the following conclusion. The presence of decaine, undecaine, and dodecane could result from the breakdown of long-chain fatty acids like palmitic, stearic, or oleic acids, substances that, under certain conditions, are considered biosignatures. And that's definitely something worth thinking about. If this is confirmed, it would mark the first time we found chemical traces of Martian life, real evidence for the existence of extraterrestrial life. So far, so spectacular. However, there's a reason why the experts are still being cautiously restrained and aren't celebrating just yet. As Fryden stated, so far, the aromatic and aliphatic compounds do not allow us to clearly classify their origin as either biotic or abiotic. Here's the crucial point, long-chain alkanes can, in theory, also be formed through purely geological processes. That said, the scientists also point out that the known abiotic processes, such as those found in hydrothermal systems, typically produce short-chain carboxylic acids and only a few long-chain fatty acids. This suggests that the evidence may lean toward a biological origin. Adding to that, fatty acids produced by terrestrial organisms tend to favor even-numbered carbon chains over odd-numbered ones, and interestingly, the alkanes detected by Curiosity mostly derive from fatty acids with even carbon numbers. All of this builds a growing case that microorganisms may indeed have once thrived on Mars. The definitive proof we're seeking still remains elusive. While this uncertainty can undoubtedly be frustrating, there's little doubt that the future will offer us greater clarity on the matter. After all, just as Curiosity's rover counterpart, Perseverance, has been leaving behind samples on Mars, these will eventually be returned to Earth during a future mission. Once here, they will undergo more detailed analysis than what can be achieved with on-site instruments. This opens the door to a deeper understanding of the Red Planet secrets. Could Mars once hide a massive ocean? This possibility remains an open question. Interestingly, Curiosity's findings are not the only tantalizing clues pointing toward life on Mars. Recent studies of a Martian meteorite have suggested the presence of hot springs in the volcanic regions of the planet during its early days. Hydrothermal systems like these are often regarded as prime environments for life to take root. If this theory proves accurate, it could significantly boost the likelihood that early forms of microbial life once thrived on Mars. Additionally, Perseverance has made another fascinating discovery. The rover recently found a rock on Mars' surface bearing dark-bordered traces of iron and phosphorus. On Earth, such leopard spots are typically associated with the presence of microorganisms. This raises the intriguing possibility that similar microbial processes could have once taken place on Mars. Meanwhile, experts are analyzing NASA's seismic data from Mars, which continues to provide fascinating insights into the planet's interior. With each new discovery, we get one step closer to answering the age-old question, did life ever exist on Mars? The puzzle is far from complete, but the pieces are slowly falling into place. The findings from the InSight probe remain nothing short of stunning. Despite the seemingly barren, dusty landscapes of Mars, the probe suggests that the planet harbors a significant reservoir of liquid water beneath its surface, buried approximately 11 kilometers deep. And here's the real surprise, we're not talking about some tiny puddle of Martian water. Instead, we're talking about an amount so vast it could form an ocean stretching across the entire planet, roughly 1 to 2 kilometers deep. This revelation adds weight to the idea that Mars was once home to expansive seas. Researchers now agree that Mars was likely once adorned with oceans, lakes, and rivers. However, the prevailing theory has been that much of Mars' water was gradually lost to space, swept away by the solar wind. But what if that assumption is incorrect? What if the water didn't disappear, but rather seeped deep into the planet's crust, hidden from view? This very possibility is at the heart of the research led by Vashon Wright and his team at the University of California, San Diego. They used data from the Mars InSight mission to explore the possibility that liquid water remains trapped in the Martian interior. Specifically, they analyzed Mars quakes recorded by the InSight probe from the Elysium region between 2018 and 2022, leading to a groundbreaking conclusion. Their findings suggest that, rather than evaporating or being lost to space, Mars water may have simply migrated deep beneath the surface, 
hidden in the planet's crust, waiting to be uncovered. The evaluation of seismic data has revealed compelling evidence that the Martian middle crust is not only porous but also contains numerous cavities, as previously suspected.